All right, hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are playing more of our campaign, Empire Total War. Our economy is uh, starting to take a little bit of a hit as we um, as we look to recruit more. What do we got here? I'm just gonna push these guys out. Yeah, that's what we're going to try and do. Replenish these units. So what does he have here? So, all right, let's... Uh, that's all you got. All right. This army here is kind of like our, our frontal assault army. I suppose we could lose it if we need to. Um, just as a way to hold back the hordes. Sometimes that happens. The battle doesn't, I mean, obviously in this case, we're going to win. We're, we have them outnumbered by a lot. But in some cases, I don't win. Um, but if I can disrupt the other army as much as possible, then that's a win for me. So... Oh, we're, ass we're assaulting. Do I have? I do. Okay, let's. Where would be the best point to blow through? Hmm. It's all hills, unfortunately. All right. Well, let's see here. Uh, oh, that won't. Oh, well, that's why. And we'll take these guys, we'll run them off over here. And our cannons. I wonder if that's going to work. No, I don't like that. That works. When assaulting a fort or settlement, many troop types can employ rope ladders anchored by grapnels to scale enemy walls. Oh, he's over there. Selecting a unit All right. and then right clicking on a section of wall orders the troops to deploy their ladders. Where is this artillery it's marching from way over there? Yeah, this will be an easy this will be an easy beat. So we'll take you over to here, and we will take you over to here. Oh yeah, he's going to come out. Usually they come out. I think that's so funny. And then we'll take our Yeah, he's gonna come out. <laughs> With what? Lancers? I killed a few. I think he realizes that was a mistake. I 
Was he running away? What do we got here? Armed populace? Yeah, I think he's going to try and run away. He's got nothing.
That's a good way to gain experience for troops if you just have them fight. You know, yeah, they, you're going to take losses. Um, but if you just have them fight. See, like we got experience now for this unit here. All right. See if we can get there. See <laughs> one unit without experience, that's fine. And my cannons. I don't know if this unit will retreat or not. Uh, sometimes I've had it, like in North America there, where they'll retreat in the, like further in, where you don't have any defenses. It's kind of dumb, but they'll retreat further into your... So sometimes, depending on where they go, you have to chase them down. up yeah he came and he joined the battle but he never I defeated him and he just stayed right there <laughs> so, I suppose it doesn't matter he's got a lot like I say he's got a lot of units coming down now One, two, three, four. all these specialty these are hard to fight the He's got a full flag come in this way. And what do we have here? We have just more crap units coming out of there. So what we got to do is try and figure out uh, where are we going. If I can take this stronghold here and then sack his capital, that's pretty much it. It's going to take him uh, such a long time to try and send troops down from these other areas, I can pretty much steamroll the rest of them. Pretty much steamroll the rest of them. There's no point in declaring peace yet until I have his capital. Let's 
so what were we doing here? We're still building up North America, I guess. We're kind of waiting. Waiting on the war. Oh, I have access to that. Not yet. Okay. These should all be maximum tax centers. Is what I was working on. Oh yeah, I met this guy here. My main army. My main army. Infrastructure. Let's see. Let's do that. Okay, he's already got cobblestone. I think this guy's got cobblestone too. All right. We'll just do that. I don't want to spend too much money, uh, especially while I have the war going. Because it is, what is this? That piece of Dutch. Okay, it is entirely possible to still have a big army land. And I want to, <laughs> right now, I don't want to have all my recruitment capacity just in, I'll upgrade that too, just in uh, India. Yeah, see, he's right here. They came right up, right up to Persia. So I suspect his main armies are up here. I don't know how much he's got, but I suspect they're there. I know he's recruiting and he's sending down. But. All right, let's see what happens. 1760? Ally attacked the Ottoman Empire's... Hold in Lithuania. Hmm. Oh, the Ottoman Empire is allied with India. I see. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to decline that. I don't really care that uh, I'll let them go to war. Hold in Lithuania is pretty strong. And I've been working pretty hard here to try and stomp out India. Yeah, see, he runs, he'll run right past. And just try and disrupt trade, which is fine. What I've got is capital here. A rake in England. Yeah, we broke that. All right, diamond formation. I guess that's all we have left, really. Until I upgrade. So what do we got here? Just a few stragglers. And what do we have here? Yeah, just a few stragglers. And what have we got here? Armed populace. I'm just wondering what the... Uh... Just think here for a moment. That's going to be at least another turn. Hmm. He's got two generals in there. That's going to be a tough battle. One, two, three. No, actually, not really. I could, I could probably, with this army here, mm, it'd be a tough fight, but I might be able to defeat him. Yeah. Yeah, I might actually be able to defeat him with this. And this army here is just kind of a rear, what I would term it just as like a rear guard. All right, I need to take this area here. So let's just see where they go. We'll just auto battle these guys off because they, oh, that cost me a lot. <laughs> Whew. I should not have auto battled that. All right. It's going to be at least another turn before I can replenish those troops, but I'll be there in the next turn. I'll be there, which is what I want. So, um, is there a... No, 
Naval Hospital. We'll get rid of that. Well, actually, I don't think we will. That will come in handy. And we'll repair that. And I think we'd be okay to repair these. We're just going to take this army and push him out. Just because, whatever. Bring him back. Repair that port. What is this? A uh, shipyard? Yeah. Now he might choose to come out. Ooh, oh, that'd be a tough one. That would be a tough one. Let's continue the siege. And let's. What does he have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see. Uh, we'll get a couple more of those. Yeah, let's just do that. We'll double all that up. And then that way we'll have another flag. I am not sure if I can win this battle. I'm not sure. I, I, I'm not sure. I can't say for certain. He's pretty low. Uh, yeah. That's going to be a good battle. Yeah, and he'll be replenished. He should be replenished next turn, and then I can take this, this one here. Once I've taken this, it looks like he's got metal roads, so I should be able to... Yeah, he's got metal roads. I should be able to just come straight across. But I am going to, before I end my turn, I do want to assault this capital. Okay, and we're on a time limit. So this one's going to be an interesting battle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this video here. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking the videos. And um, this is going to be a long battle. So what I'll do is I'll start the next video with this battle here. This is going to be a uh, like nail biting. I might lose because I might not have the time to actually, uh, you know, destroy. Because we're, we're limited. We only have 60 minutes to do a full battle. So with what he has, and I have to assault the fort and all that kind of stuff, this is going to be a full-fledged battle. But he only has a couple of cannons. And I'm not too concerned about his, uh, he doesn't have a lot of, like these guys here are tough, the Sikh warriors. They're melee. They can do a lot of damage. Same with these guys here. They can do a lot of damage. But other than that, I mean, he's got armed populace, right? So I have a pretty good chance of defeating him. And then these guys are elephants. So we'll have to see. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, we will see you in the next one. Have yourselves a fantastic day.